I just realized you guys probably couldn't hear the music that I was playing. And I feel terrible about that. I am so sorry. Fuck. <laughs> okay. Well, I just wasted five minutes of uh, my stream in utter silence, if you couldn't hear the music. But, uh, hello! Welcome to the stream! We're gonna play Breath of the Wild, because my PS3 and my capture card uh, are not working together, apparently. <sighs> so, today, originally I was going to stream Red Dead Redemption. Uh, apparently, the Elgato capture card that I have, the HD60S, is, uh, unable to capture PS3s because the HDMI encryption on PS3s is unreadable on an HD60S, which doesn't make any fucking sense. Oh god, we have crackles already. Oh god, I love audio crust. Let me know if the game is too quiet and I will turn it up. Okay. I've got to learn how to... I've got to relearn how to play the game. That is a sheet of slate. Take it. It will help guide you after your long slumber. Actually, have to turn it down a little bit. Okay. Old shirt, a thin shirt made long ago. It's coming apart at the seams, but it's better than nothing. The sleeves are a bit on the short side. Well-worn trousers. Tra trousers. These old trousers are threadbare in spots, but they're surprisingly comfortable. The legs are a bit short, though. Oh, 
slowly keep afloat up to the pedestal. That will show you the way. must shine upon high rule once again now go so earlier today I was thinking about whether or not I should do a master mode playthrough and I and I seriously thought about it I was like master mode would be would be kind of fun to, to watch but there would be a lot of deaths and just the DLC is challenging enough as it is. So I was like, if I'm going to do the DLC, I might as well just go and play on normal mode because master mode is already such a pain in the ass. And it's definitely something that's better done solo than it is with an audience, of, in my opinion. Because I would just get frustrated with master mode in front of, a, in front of, on, on Twitch. So I just decided to just go ahead and do a regular old normal mode playthrough. Old man. Tree branch. Wood branches such as these are pretty common. Surprising, well balanced. Doesn't do much as a weapon, but can, uh, doesn't do much damage. Can serve as a weapon in a pinch. Go and get a few of these. Hylian shroom. Common mushroom found near trees around high roll. Eat it to restore half a heart. I think there's a bug on one of these trees that I can get. A bug or at least a lizard. Yeah, there it is. It's a beetle. Bladed Rhino Beetle. This, this beetle's razor sharp horns demand that you handle it with care. Boil the horns alongside monster parts to concoct an elixir that will raise your attack power. Oh god, I'm forgetting how to play the game. <laughs> what? X's jump. Did I have it set as that originally? Ew, God, no, why would I use B? Oh, there's a beetle. Okay. There's another beetle right here. Gotcha. Another branch. Hey Unity, the real fire duck? Yes, it is I, the real fire duck. Don't be fooled by imposters. I am the one and only fire duck. Oh, there's a beetle and a lizard friend on this tree. How are you, Unity? High tail lizard. Lizard found throughout Hyrule. It's a bit slow to react at times, but if given a chance to escape, it will dart off quickly. Cook it with monster parts for speed boosting a lizard. Elixir. You're good? That's good. I am also get, uh, good. Again, I'm forgetting how to play the game. I haven't played this game in a few months, so bear with me. I don't think there's any reason to do that. I found a Discord alternative, so I've been setting that up as part of a few. 
So I've been setting that Head up point, map, past couple days. Point. What's the alternative? And if there's anyone calling themselves the uh, the chief of the fire department on that alternative for, to Discord, that's not me. Anyone who calls himself the chief of the fire department that isn't me is an imposter. Although I don't know why anyone would call himself that. To be honest. Yoink. This is mine. I beg your pardon. I believe that that is my baked apple. You can't just go about taking whatever you please. Oh. Forgive me, I could not resist pulling your leg. Please help yourself. An apple in an open flame and make for a succulent treat. It's a bit strange to see another soul around uh, in these parts. Who are you? Mm. Me? I'll spare you my life story. I'm just an old fool who has lived here alone for quite some time now. What brings a bright eyed young man to a, like you to a place like this? Eh. You can claim URL, so it might be worth making an account uh, and a server there to claim gg.fardpart and gg slash chief fire duck how can i claim a discord url because i want to do that now for for my discord server where are we answering question with a question that is fair enough as i cannot imagine a meeting to be a simple coincidence i shall tell you oh no it's a separate thing to discord oh it's a complete alternative oh okay this is the great plateau According to the legend, it is the birthplace of the entire kingdom of Hyrule. Ooh. That temple there, long ago, was the site of many sacred ter ceremonies, ever since the decline of the kingdom a hundred years ago, and it sat abandoned in a state of decay. In another forgotten entity, a mere ghost of its former self. I, uh, I skipped, uh, reading these. Direct heat has softened this, uh, and sweetened this apple. Eat it to restore three quarters of a heart. And then the weapon. Uh, a wood, uh, the woodcutter's axe. A woodcutter's tool of choice for felling trees. Its formidable weight and, un uh, and uneven balancing make it a slow, inefficient weapon. I'm just gonna take this torch, too. Torch! This torch will stay lit once ignited, but if you put it away, the flame will be extinguished until you light it again. Well then, just help yourself with that torch there, and how, may I ask, are you planning to use it as a weapon? Hmm. Innovative. However, it's probably best to use light fires. If you need a weapon, you can find something better. I see from my axe. I do believe it will be of more, more use to you than I, uh, than you than it is to me. Hmm. However, do not just swing it around without purpose. You must face your opponents and lock your sights on them. Hey, Ronnie, how you doing? Apple. I want this other apple. I'm good. How am I? I'm doing good. I'm wanting this apple. Give me the apple. There we go. Got the apple. Ow. Fuck. Okay. I'm forgetting in which ways I should hop. There we go. Just take that. A cobbling fang. Tooth from a cobbling. It's worn down and not very sharp, but it still makes it pretty hard. Cook alongside a critter to make an elixir. A cobbler horn. Sever horn of a goblin, a creature that often encountered in plains of Hyrule. It isn't edible, but can be tossed into a stew with some critters to make an elixir. Choo choo jelly. Jaw and the sepidence that came from choo choo. It's, been, uh, it's unusable in the state, but implying it will, the elemental simulation will change its form.
Roasted bird drumstick. Raw bird drumstick that's been cooked to a crisp skin and all. It's devoid of seasoning, but a simple, accessible taste. Swords more hearts than the raw variety. It's still hard to believe that you can just eat raw meat without any adverse side effects in Breath of the Wild. Take that. Rare steaks off uh, often are basically just raw meat. Uh, uh, steaks that are prepared rare or blue have are basically yeah raw in the middle. But uh, rare, they've been uh, they've been cooked to a specific internal temperature, and blue is basically they they've just touched the pan for seconds to get a. Uh, for them to brown a little bit on the outside. <laughs> Bet you thought. Hylian trousers. Traditional dress trousers of Hyrule. The plush fabric makes these trousers quite comfortable and their high durability makes them ideal for travelers. We have actual clothing now. That barrel has nothing but choo uh, choo's in it, so we're just going to ignore it for now. And we could go to the Temple of Time. In fact, we actually are. We're going to go up there. I want to. I want a bow. So, here's a question that I want to ask Chat. Uh, so I have some Zelda amiibo cards that will give me shit uh, the beginning of every day, or during at once a day, right? Would you guys want to watch me open? Fuck, how many cards do I have? Uh, two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen. 18, 20, 23 chests a day to see what I can get inside of it, or would you rather that be something I do off stream? Because at that point, it's basically just gotcha, because once you defeat, once you get to certain points in the game, that you can start unlocking outfits that get, uh, that are, that are exclusive to the amiibos. Would you want to watch me open chests live on stream, or would you want that just to be done off stream? Because that's at least maybe 20 minutes worth of opening chests. I have no idea. I probably wouldn't, but I know that those kind of vids are things people love to watch. It's basically card opening, except virtual. I'm going to do the first one on stream because I'm going to get a bunch of weapons after I get off the Great Plateau. Five arrows. A bundle of five common arrows. The shafts of these arrows were carved from woody wood of a sturdy tree. Traveler's Bow. A small bow used by travelers for protection. It doesn't do a lot of damage, but it can be used to attack foes from a distance. I will be right back. Uh, something got delivered. I have to go get it before someone tries to steal it. So I'll be back in just a minute.
Okay, sorry about that. I'm back. It took a little bit longer than I thought it would. Alright. Time out. Unity, why would you why do you want me to time you out? Okay. <sighs> Alright, Unity. Can I time you out for like ten seconds? Alright, you've been timed out for 10 minutes, because I can't... Okay, good job, Unity. I need. I don't know why I have that as an option. Honestly. But congratulations, you've been timed out for 10 minutes. I love you too. Take that. Oh, shit. Okay, that works. I'll take these. He's probably gonna fucking kill me. Fuck. Okay, I knew that was gonna happen. Whoops! <laughs> okay, let's not do that. <laughs> we'll do that when I have more arrows. Seared steak, raw meat cooked over an open flame. Cooking it has increased its flavor and the number of hearts it provides. Yay. Okay, for some reason I thought I'd get something out of that. We got some bacoblins to kill. Ow. I didn't know they both had bows. Boko bow. Basic bacoblin bow made of wood. It's just made by taking any tree branch and just tying a string to either end. So don't expect in much of the way of combat effectiveness. Hey Alex, how you doing today? How are you? Did 
doing good. What about you? I'm doing all right. Ooh, damn. The goblin got fucked. Traveler's sword. Very common sword, often kept by travelers to fend off small beasts. It's very durable, but a bit unreliable against monsters. Boko shield. A goblin made shield created by atta uh, attaching a... A handhold to any flat tree bark picked up off the ground. It's pretty shoddy, so don't expect it to last very long. All this talking has made me very thirsty. I'm going to have to probably go get more water because I only have three bottles right now. Place the Sheikah Slate on the pedestal. Chica Tower activated. Please watch for falling rocks. I do too, it's a great cutscene, honestly. Breath of I just love Breath of the Wild in general. Such a great game, I agree a hundred percent. Distilling local information. years. Oh. The beast. When the beast regains its true power, this world will face its end. Now then, you must So I've seen a lot of speedrun strats where people just jump off the towers and switch to a weapon immediately before they hit the ground to cancel the fall. Should I try that? I think we're going to try it. I'm going to save the game first. Because <laughs> I get the feeling I'm going to fuck it up. <laughs> can I jump while... I can. Okay. I didn't mean to do that. Fuck! Okay. Yeah. I knew that was going to happen. <laughs> Go into a throw with a heavy weapon, let go of throw, and then switch to mid throw. What do you mean by let go of throw? Just like throw it or 
cancel the throw in the middle of the jump. Oh, sweet. Oh, okay, I got gotcha. you. I got gotcha. you. Ah, oh, I almost had it. You let go of the throw and then switch while you're in the middle of the throw. Okay. We'll try it one more time before we just climb down the tower. Yo, I did it. Sick. My, my, it seems that we quiet the enigma here. This tower and others like just like it have erupted across the land one after another. It's almost as though a long dormant power has awoken quite suddenly. If you don't mind me asking, did anything odd occur while you were atop that tower? I can't believe I actually pulled that off. Holy shit. <laughs> I heard a voice. Well now, a voice you say? And did you happen to recognize this mysterious voice? No. I see. Well, that is unfortunate. I assume you caught sight of that atrocity as shrouding the castle. That is Calamity Ganon. One hundred years ago, that vile entity brought the kingdom of Hyrule to ruin. It appeared suddenly and destroyed everything in its path. So many innocent lives were lost in its wake. For a century, the very symbol of our kingdom, Hyrule Castle, has managed to contain that evil, but just barely. There it festers, building its strength for a moment. It will, unleash its, it will unleash its blight upon the land once again. It would appear that moment is fast approaching. Hmm. I must ask you, courageous one. Do you intend to make your way to the castle? I do. I had a feeling you would say that. Here on this isolated plateau, we are surrounded on all sides by steep cliffs with no way down. If you were to try to jump off, well, no death could be more certain, or more foolish. Ooh. Of course, if you had a paraglider like mine, that would be quite another story. Paraglider? <laughs> oh, peak to interest, have I? Yes, yeah, Sydney comes soaring down here on my own feathery wings, you know. Mm. Worry not, I will happily agree to give you my paraglider, but not for nothing. Mm. Let's see now. How about I trade it for a bit of treasure that, uh, that slumbers nearby? Come, let me show you something. No. Fine, I'll follow. <laughs> Don't be hasty now, just follow me. Well then hurry up, old man! You're about to watch Link beat the shit of an old man. Hmm. Do you see that structure over there? The one shining with a strange light? It began glowing the exact moment these towers rose up from the ground. I would think such a place might house some sort of treasure, wouldn't you? Treasure for the paraglider. A fair exchange, I believe. Okay. Thanks, Dad. I'm gonna get this butterfly. Summer Wing Butterfly. Butterfly found in the woods and plains of warm regions. Its wings absorb the warmth of the sun, cook it with a monster to create an elixir that makes you feel warm and fuzzy. It's fucking Pacoblin. Bitch. Acorn. Ought to found the, uh, on the ground near trees. Squirrels adore this nut, so you may have a competition while foraging. Add one to a meal for nutty seasoning. That's me. Oh, you have a you have a backup account. Okay, I sh I should just ban you instead. I'm joking, I wouldn't do that. 
Oh wait, you mean the emote. I'm dumb. I'm a dummy. Uh oh. I have awoken the Bokoblins. No, lock on to the one with the bow, Link. You dummy. Quit throwing shit. Damn. I will reserve my points for timing out other people. I think timing out demodded me. Oh, hold on. No, you're still mod. Didn't see badge. Uh, you have to apply the badge again. Ow, you fuck. Broke my shield. It almost broke my shield. Restless Cricket. A very energetic cricket. Cook it with monster parts to create a stamina recovery elixir. Part of me is regretting not doing a Master Mode playthrough, because Master Mode is so much fun. But at the same time, I didn't want to make myself want to die a little bit every time I did a Master Mode playthrough. Because it is annoying as hell. And I think that would be entertaining. Watching me get pissed off and frustrated over and over and over again. Frogs. Frog. Hot-footed frog. A quick, uh, quick frog that can be found hopping near around around near water. Cook it with monster parts to draw on its speed boost uh, abilities. Or whatever the fuck it said. Gotcha. Shoot the frog. Ruby, a precious red gem mined from large ore deposits found throughout Hyrule. Rubies contain a power of fire and have fetched high prices since ancient times. Shika Slate confirmed. Travel gate registered to map. Access granted. Hey, I thought it was just me and I was doing something dumb, but your audio is definitely way too low. Even other random streamer on minimum volume is louder than your stream at max volume. You mean like my game audio? Or just my stream in general? Like the whole stream? I don't know how to fix that. <laughs> Honestly. I mean, I can turn the game up, but I, I don't know how to fix that. It's not an issue when it's just the uh, 
It's not an issue, it's just when I have background music, it drowns you out easily. Oh. Sheikah Slate Authenticated. Distilling Rune. Magnesis. Ma uh, manipulate metallic, metallic objects using magnetism. Grab on a uh, metallic object using the magnetic energy that pours forth from the Magnesis Rune. Objects held in the magnetic snare can be lifted up and moved freely. You know, when I first saw the trailers for this game, I thought the runes were stupid as shit. They are some of the most useful goddamn things in this game. killed me. Fuck. I was gonna try to crush it. Fuck. Okay, that works somehow. Whatever. Another traveler's bow. Inventory swole. Okay. You have proven to possess the resolve of a true hero. I am Oman Ao, the creator of this trial. I am a humble monk, blessed with the sight of the goddess Hylia and dedication and dedicated helping those who seek to defeat Ganon. With your arrival, my duty is now fulfilled. In the name of Goddess Hylia, uh, allow me to bestow, bestow you uh, bestow this gift. Upon, God damn it! Please accept this spirit orb. Spirit orb. Symbol of courage given to those who have overcome the challenges of a shrine. 
May the goddess smile upon you. I'm never reading these ever again. Because <laughs> I'm having trouble reading in general, apparently. Ugh, I'm so sorry. Seems you managed to get your hands on a spirit orb. Well done. How did you know? <laughs> Clairvoyance. Ah, uh, per perhaps just something similar. As one gets older, it becomes more difficult to see what is right before one's own eyes. However, that once was hidden from view can often be crystal clear. Perhaps it is not true for everyone. Appearance of these towers and awakening of this shrine... It's all connected to that Sheikah Slate you carry on the hip there. What do you mean? Hmm. This is quite some time since I have seen, this, uh, seen that Sheikah Slate. Long ago, a highly advanced tribe known as the Sheikah inhabited these lands. The great power of their wisdom saved this kingdom time and time again. Their ancient technology disappeared long ago, or so it is said. It is interesting, however, to think how something like that survived all this time hidden away in a shrine. These shrines are tucked away in numerous places all across this land. On this plateau alone, I believe there are still three more. Bring me the treasure from each of those shrines and I'll give you my paraglider. That wasn't the deal. Oh, well, I suppose I changed my mind. I'm sure that won't be a problem for a young go-getter like you. So I'm feeling generous. I will also teach you, teach you a trick for finding shrines. Hmm. Uh, look from a high point. Yada yada. Got it. Okay. I don't care. I don't need the map. Hmm. I know where stuff is. You can travel to those places using the Sheikah Slate. Cool. Let me get... Or... Uh, you. Let me go back to playing the game, please, old man. I don't need a tutorial. I've beaten this game four times. Amber. Fossilized resin with caramelesque sheen to it. It's been valued as a component in decorations and crafting since ancient times. I think this one's an opal. Hey, valuable ore that gives off a mesmerizing iridescent similar to the inside of a seashell. It contains power of water. Or so we've been told. Oh, hey, look, weed. That went funny if the shield broke. Hyrule herb. This healthy herb grows abundantly in the plains of Hyrule. Cook it before eating to increase the number of hearts it restores. One of these days, the shield's gonna break. Like now! Yep, I knew it. But I just got that out of the water. Hey, Brazen, how are you? Welcome to the stream. The game is literally unplayable. Oh, well, I take that back. Oh. Oh. It's just going through the shrub. I'm good, you? I'm doing okay. Bundle of five ice arrows. Ice arrows break upon impact, freezing objects in the immediate area. Bundle of five fire arrows. Fire arrows break apart on impact, igniting objects in the immediate area. Ever played this game before? I have. I have beaten it three times. Or four times. Twice the normal on uh, twice the normal mode and twice on master mode. Aha, you found me. Huh? You're not Hestu. But you can see me? 
I didn't know your kind could see the children of the forest. Well, if you're running to Hestu, please return this to him. Korok seed. This small seed was given to you by Korok. It has a distinct smell. If you gather a bunch of them, you never know what may happen. Oh, my friends are hiding in lots of different places, too. Don't be shy about poking your nose in suspicious places. Being at one time a master and three times on normal? Nice. Master mode is fun, albeit ridiculously challenging. Korok poop? Yeah. Thankfully, Link doesn't eat it. Another tree branch. Add to the collection. Portable bundle of wood. You can use this to make a campfire if you have something to light it. But for some reason, Hestu wants it. Maybe he eats it. Is it raining? What the fuck? Hold on. It is raining. Okay. That's cool, I guess. Goblins in my forest it's more likely than you think. Come here, bitch. Try to take that spear. Fucking come on. There we go. Excuse me. Can you just fucking die? There we go. Get my arrow back. Foco spear. A spear haphazardly carved from a large tree branch. It looks like its original intent was for skewering meat and cooking it. But it does have some combat merit as well. And I can't carry any more weapons. Okay. Drop the branch. Drop the branch. There we go. Sunset Firefly. These fireflies glow gently in the dark. When cooked with monster parts, the compound that it causes the glow to result in an elixir that allows you to move more quietly. That doesn't make any sense, but okay. Another Traveler's Bow. Take that. Calm down. Old man thinks I'm gonna shoot him. I mean, maybe I will, but... I'm just gonna make a few things. We don't need a lot of food. Not uh, if we're starting, if we're, not if we're just now starting the game. Uh, okay, I don't know how that wasn't a headshot, but okay. What the fuck was that sound? be 
super cool if I never heard that sound uh, again. Oh, hello. <laughs> that poor McCoughlin. <laughs> Woke up to getting shot in the head with an arrow only to have a club thrown at him. Not useful at all. Okay, I thought there was something up here. I wasn't trying to pick up the branch. Alright. I don't have anything to kill this Talus. So we are going to mark it on the map to come back to later. Because, I mean, technically, yes, I have weapons, but what I have is not enough. I want this honey, so I'm going to take it. Yoink! Of course they're bean honey. Honey straight from the hive is chock full of nutrients. Cooking this in the meal unlocks the potential of these nutrients and provides a stamina recovering effect. Oh god. Run away from the bees. Blue nightshade. A plant that grows in the quieter areas of Hyrule. At night it gives off a soft glow. Cook it to increase your stealth. <laughs> Did I get away from the bees? I did. Sick. Alright, let's see if I can get some more of these fireflies. Yeah. You can never have too many. The Mellish Room, a green, uh, green mushroom that grows near trees in the forest. It's chock full of natural energy. Cook it to release stamina, affecting results. Or stamina boosting results, or whatever the fuck it said. More blue nightshade. Apples. Oop, hello. You're dead. You know what I can use? Hold on. I technically have the ability to use amiibos now, but we're going to wait until after we get off the Great Plateau. We're actually going to wait on that for a second. We're going to take out this sentry real quick. Alright. Alright. There we go. Wolf Link. Holy shit. 
Good job, Wolflink. <laughs> Nice. I wish we could pet the good boy. Another opal. Another seared steak. Do I have enough stamina to get to the top of this? I don't think I do. We're gonna try though. Hey Nate, how are you? Let's not talk about that. How are you? I'm doing good. I hope you're doing good as well. Just barely enough stamina. Hey, ten arrows. Nice. Stay cute. I'm going to try. You do the same. Me lurk? Alrighty. Enjoy the stream. Need to bonk some monsters? Uh, yes. But we will not be bonking any monsters at the moment, as there are no monsters to bonk. I, well, I didn't want to lock on to the full flank. AKA Monster Hunter? Oh yeah, that's right, Monster Hunter Rice came out a couple weeks ago. Or, not a couple weeks ago. Day before yesterday, if I'm not mistaken, right? I wish I had interest in Monster Hunter. Uh... I think it was Lick who tried getting me into Monster Hunter, and I just discovered that it's not really my kind of game. It's not a bad game, it's just not my kind of game. I, I genuinely don't think it's a bad game, it's just not my thing. I put a few hours into a uh, Monster Hunter world, I think. Uh, and I just, eh. It's okay. I wouldn't say it's challenging, it's just very, very time consuming. It's like playing an MMO, except single player. <laughs> that makes any sense. You played only four hours and fight the strong monsters? Yes, it's not challenge. Okay, well. From the few hours I played, it wasn't challenging. It was just tedious.
Oh, hello, Wolfling. I was wondering how you get to me. Alright, we got some more shit to kill. Okay. Well, I wasn't expecting it to break like that. I do love me some grind games, so there's that. I had like... XP grinding. Like, I love grinding XP in like Kingdom Hearts, Final Fantasy games like that. But material farming? Man, that's just... Not really my kind of thing. With the exception of Kingdom Hearts. Kingdom Hearts 2 and most of the games after that, I will spend as much time as I need grinding uh, materials. Didn't it come out on PC yesterday? It did. Kingdom Hearts came out on PC yesterday, and I bought the 1.5, 2.5 HD remix, uh, remix uh, so I could play Kingdom Hearts 2 on PC. And... By God, is it beautiful. It is a magical thing. Okay. Okay, Wolf Link, just take everything out, goddamn. Okay. Oh, here they are. Here are the materials. I did watch my brother play it a lot as a kid. That's how me and my brother were. Uh, we would take turns playing it, but he would mostly watch me play Kingdom Hearts 2. Because I was just... I'm not going to say I was better at it than he was. But in ways, I was better at Kingdom Hearts 2 than he was. I've always been more of a video games kind of person uh, compared to my brother. Roasted bass. A bass that's been cooked over an open flame. It's flaky and savory smelling. Offers more hearts than the raw version. No, my save file. Go away. Don't ruin it. Well, I mean, with Kingdom Hearts, you have 99 save files, so... There really was an issue. What we, what we did fight about was uh, whether or not we would get file number 1 or file number 99. And usually I got file 1 and he got file 99. And when we got a new memory card, we would switch between the two. I'm legless. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> but it was an accident. I once deleted my safe file of my brother in another game. Oh, God. The, uh, the, the truly accidental save file deletion is awful. I uh, accidentally deleted my brother's save file for GTA San Andreas. Granted, I was farther than, it, than him in the game anyway, but I still felt terrible, so I gave him, so I copied my save file over for him, so he could have mine. I felt awful. Oh god. Uh oh. Okay, that almost killed me. <laughs> Can really play single player games? The only MMO that I play and have continuously played. Spicy pepper. This pepper is exploding with spice. Cook it to create dishes that will raise your body temperature and help you withstand the cold is, um, old school RuneScape. Excuse me, sir. Please die. There you go. Well, 
this is like Monster Hunter or Dark Souls, you don't play single player games. I can understand that. I also tried getting into Dark Souls and I discovered that it is absolutely not my kind of game. I don't like being I don't like being driven to the point of not wanting to play a game anymore. When playing something difficult. I barely use the shield and it's already about to break. God damn it. I'm just gonna shoot this lizard. Bah. Speaking of, uh, we need to get something real quick. I want to go ahead, I want to get the, uh, the quilted doublet, or duble or however the fuck it's pronounced early, so we don't have to risk freezing to death. Because I don't really feel like making any of the spicy pepper stuff. Which means I need this fish right here. Yeah. Thank you. Hylian Bass. Yeah, I like to grind for stuff, not but not like grind levels in Pokemon or something. I can understand that. Uh, I I don't know. I'm weird. I like grinding in Pokemon games, except for Sun, uh, Sword and Shield. The, uh, I did not. The one the one major complaint I had about Sword and Shield was the fact that. Um, like the extreme hand holding and them leveling up all of your Pokemon, even if none of, even if only one Pokemon partook in the battle, was annoying as hell and I hated it. I like leveling my Pokemon one at a time and I don't like doing it all at once. I hate using EXP shares and the forced EXP share is trash. Best grind is to grind for money in games with trade? Absolutely, dude. Animal Crossing. Stalk Market. It's the best. Until you get bored. <laughs> and tired of waking up at 8 o'clock in the morning on a Sunday. I spent literal millions of bells on turnips only for me to lose like half million bells and profits because the stock market uh, the foretold stock uh, stock market was not what I got so if you put in your baseline price uh, that you get and then the mo the following Monday's uh, the following days, fuck, I can't talk while playing this game at the same time. And the following day's sell price, um, you can get a rough estimate as to what your uh, stock prices are going to be and your, what your high is. And I'll be, it would be like, oh, well, your high is going to be 150, and your sell, and your buy price is going to be like 60. I'm like, oh, that's cool. So I buy. 5,000 bells, and come Thursday, when it's supposed to be the height of the price, it is the lowest. And I'm like, well, fuck, I have three days to try to find someone who has high enough prices for me to make a profit. And sometimes it just didn't happen. Okay, we're gonna make the old man happy. All right, we need a spicy pepper. Okay, maybe you should read his diary. I forget. Uh, desolate plateau. Comfort is cooking. Uh, spicy meat and seafoods. Uh, okay. Spicy meat and seafood. All right, so we need a pepper.
meat, and seafood. Cook. Spicy meat and seafood fry. Nice. Alright, now we go take it to the old man. I That didn't get me anywhere. Oh, fancy that. So we meet again. What are you doing? I thought this tree here might make for some good firewood. However, getting a tree to fall exactly where you want it is quite an art. The trick is to turn your hips so they face where you want the tree to land. So, I see from my axe, why not help me out and give him a few swings? Okay. Never mind. We will wait by the fire until he is sitting down. One of my most played games is Path of Exile with probably three to four K hours. Jesus. God damn. I cook something. Wait, is that? It looks just like my signature for perfect dish. Spicy meat and seafood fry. But how did you? Well, I suppose that is not important. Can I trouble you to share the recipe? Ah, uh, of course. Hyrule bass. How could I have forgotten? Well done. Now please allow me to re reward your culinary efforts with this warm duble. Warm pullover typically worn by mountain folk. It is sturdy fabric and thick gloves are great at retaining body heat. With that, you'd be able to resist the bitter cold, of the bite of the colder environments. As for me, I know a great spicy meat seafood fry recipe, so I could do that without do without the warm duble. Cool. Put that on. Give me virtual currency. <laughs> the pain. Of not having enough virtual currency. Yeah, we're gonna chop some more wood. Korok leaf! A single swing of this giant sturdy leaf can create a gust of wind strong enough to blow away light objects. They will sometimes fall off trees as they're chopped down. <sighs> I need water. I also like Warfra a Warframe. Dude, I want to play Warframe, but I don't have enough space to put a 400 gigabyte game on my computer. 250 gigabyte game plus a 250 250 gigabyte update. I just can't. I can't do it. It's just yeah, that's ridiculous. It. Oh, I knew it was gonna fucking break. Wait, how is it 400 gigabytes? A 250 gigabyte game plus another 250 gigabyte uh, up update for all of the updates that I need to catch up with. I need a new I need a new hard drive in order to play that game. It's not that big, dude. The game's massive. What are you talking about? Well, this is going to be dangerous. Oh, wait, no, I'm talking about Warzone. Never mind. I'm being very dumb. Not Warframe. Warzone. I'm dumb. Please pardon my stupidity. Yeah, fucked up a cobble it up. Oh my oh god, they both fell. Oh no. Well Flake. Can I summon him back? He yeeted himself off the cliff. Okay, there we go. Good boy. Okay. That's cool, I guess. Apples. Alright. 
make our way up this cliff. This is going to take a, a hot minute. Get up this cliff face. I absolutely do not have to do it this way, but I'm doing it this way because I don't know why. Doesn't matter how hard I try. That's a shooting star I can't get. To be honest, all I've seen of this game is... A mushroom that can grow almost anywhere but first ceilings and sheer cliffs. Cook it before eating it to temporarily increase your movement speed. People bouncing with a shield and flying around the map. Yeah, that's uh, that's speed runs of this game in a nutshell. Thankfully for you, uh, I don't know how to speed run this game, so I will not be doing that. I don't know any speed run strat uh, strats when it comes to like the shield bouncing and shit. I have no idea how to do that. So you don't have to worry about that being in my stream. The only thing that I've learned how to do that you could consider speedrun strats is uh, fall damage cancelling. But that's funny. I wish I knew how to do it, but I don't. I could probably learn. I'm not going to be doing the bullet bounce uh, thing where you bounce off uh, Bacoblin's skull and get yeeted across the map. Because apparently that takes like some like ultra fine uh, calculating and like where you need to actually be and where you need to jump. I don't know how to do that, so I'm not going to. But I could probably pull off the uh, the bomb jumping. I just have to learn how to do it. I like how Wolf Link is still just waiting down there for me. Yo, you have a Traveler's Spear. I want that. Alright, what am I going to drop for the Traveler's Spear? Why, a club, of course. Traveler's Spear. A spear mainly used by travelers to fend off wolves and other beasts. Easy to hold on to for simple use. I'm going to switch to another club, though. I sure... Okay. I sure wish I could get that shooting star, but there's just no way I'm going to be able to. Oh, sledgehammer. Iron sledgehammer. This large iron sledgehammer was originally used for mining, but it works reasonably well as a weapon, too. sledgehammer for the shrine. Even though we technically get one in the shrine, I'm going to use this one anyway. <laughs> Stasis! Stasis. Stop the flow of time for an object. It stops an object in time while storing its kinetic energy. The stored energy will act upon the object when the flow of time resumes. Making good use of the stored energy can even move the largest of objects. Pog. 
I know how to use. I know how to play the game. Traveler's shield, a sturdy shield loved by many an adventurer. It is made of animal hide and sturdy wood and is best suited for de defending against weak monsters or animals. Okay, so as soon as I get off the Great Plateau, we'll try to do the bomb jump uh, speedrun tactic. Because I think I can pull it off. You just need to go into a uh, bullet time and release the bomb and then another. Go back to the first one and then blow it up to get yeeted across the map at high speeds. We'll try it. Probably gonna fail, but we'll try it. Seriously, dude? Fuck off. Oh god, my bow broke. <laughs> cool. I would like my wolf back, please. He is my only friend in this uh, unforgiving world. Another bow! Yay! <sighs> Give me just a second. friend who's chatting with me on Discord. I'm trying to keep up with the conversation. While also streaming. Alright, Wolf Link, we're gonna fuck these people up. I almost tried using my paraglider. I have not unlocked it yet. Fuck him up. Good boy. Fucked him up. <laughs> Got plenty of arrows. 65. Oh, I didn't realize there was a chest over here. Hey, more arrows. Fuck this bird up. I killed a bird and I feel no sorrow. Okay, I guess you can have that. Never mind. You weren't even low on health and you ate my food anyway. Thanks, bro. Isn't there something down here?
almost blew myself up. Arrows. More arrows. I will never be upset with arrows. A blue bacoblin. We're gonna fuck him up too. Get out of here. Oh, shit. Take that. Shield, take this one. God, the sun is bright. Yeah, I should probably go ahead and just switch the spear. Some more amber. Nice. We're almost at the shrine. Huh. Oh god. Oh god! Ow. I don't know why their first instinct wasn't to pick up the explosive barrels, but instead the regular barrel. We'll go down over there after we get done up here. Alright. 
Next rune. Cryonis, create a pillar of ice from a water surface. Builds ice pillars that are very stable. This pillar is going to be used as stepping stones or as obstacles. Use Cryonis on an ice pillar to break it. Another spear, okay. Let's drop a club for it. Spears are more durable than clubs are. Three spirit orbs now. You know, the only thing we have left are bombs. Which we will get shortly. Oh, shit. Okay. Well, I'm not even going to bother getting that chest anymore because I'm pretty sure it's just Amber. I went to full health to no health in like three seconds. Oh god, oh god, oh god! <sighs> so, uh... That's, uh, four deaths now? I am clearly very good at this game. Oh god, I almost killed myself again. That would have been super impressive. Hey, Chief, why don't you show us how you killed yourself? Oh, well, it's actually pretty interesting. I'm surprised that even worked.
one. You know what hit you. Alright. Wonder if I can get both these ropes down with one shot. Loop Coblin with a soldier sword. Uh, okay, I guess we're not going to get that sword. Uh, I kind of wanted that sword, but I guess not. got were arrows and arrows and amber. That's cool, I guess. We'll climb this, I guess, and see if there's anything up there. Five arrows. All right. Um, let's see if I can pull off this. Uh, actually, you know what? No, we're not going to do that. We're just going to teleport. Now we're going to see if I can pull this off. There we go. I've done it twice now. Nice. Alright, now we need to go get bombs. One of these is going to try to mess me up, and I'm going to try to uh, perfect deflect their deflect their lasers. Yep, this this one. Okay, let's see if I can do this. See if I still got the timing down. There we go. There's one. Nintendo Switch shirt. Just gonna wear that, I guess. Just, why not?
bomb that can be detonated remotely. The force of the blast can be used to damage monsters or destroy objects. They're both round and cube bombs, so we'll use whichever best fits the situation. Again, when I first saw these in trailers, I thought they were dumb as hell. Only realized they were one of the most, uh, one of, one of, if not the most useful rune in the entire game. Traveler's Claymore. Basic two-handed sword often wielded by aspiring adventurers. Its immense weight can knock enemy shields right out of their hands. Yay! Alright, what's in this chest? More amber, okay. That's cool, I guess. Why'd I do that? Four spirit orbs. With this, you have now acquired all the spirit orbs from the shrines on this plateau. Oh, extraordinary. That means it is finally time. Link, it is finally time for me to tell you everything. But first, imagine an X on your map with the four shrines at the end of those points. Find the spot where those lines intersect. I shall wait for you there. Do you understand? Where the two lines connected the shrines will cross, there... I will be waiting. You know, I probably could just run all over there. And it would have been faster than teleporting and running. Alright, let's get going. Yeah. Uh -huh. Huh. 
geese wing. The wing of a geese is covered with very short, sharp fur. It's not much used by itself, but you can mix it with critters to make something useful. Fuck off. Is there another one somewhere? Where's the other one? Oh, is it inside? Hello. Did you get stuck? Geese eyeball. A rare material dropped by defeated keys. It's fun to look at, but it doesn't seem to have much use at first glance. But it must be good for something. Yeah. Something. I don't know. Don't look at me. I don't know why I thought there would be anything else in the pots. Oh, so I think we're going to go with stamina over health. Nah, we'll go with health first. Container, your life force has been strengthened by in uh, increasing your maximum number of hearts by one. Go and bring peace to Hyrule. Oh! How? Why does he look so angry? The blessing of the goddess has made you that much more resilient, I see. <laughs> I am up here. Or, here I am. Get up here, quickly. Scene time. Well done there, young one. Now then, the time has come to show you who I truly am. I was King Rome Bosphoramus Hyrule. I was the last leader of Hyrule. A kingdom which no longer exists. The Great Calamity was merciless. It devastated everything in its path, lo, a century ago. It was then that my life was taken away from me. And since that time, here I have remained in spirit form. I did not think it wise to overwhelm you while your memory was still fragile. So rather than that, I thought it best to assume a temporary form. Forgive me. I think you are now ready. Ready to hear what happened 100 years ago. To know Calamity Ganon's true form, one must know the story from an age long past. The Demon King was born into this kingdom, but his transformation into malice created the horror you see now. Stories of Ganon were passed from generation to generation in the form of legends and fairy tales. But there was also a prophecy. The signs of a resurrection of Calamity Ganon are clear, and the power to oppose it lies dormant beneath the clouds. We decided to heed the prophecy and began excavating large areas of land. It wasn't long before we discovered several ancient relics made by the hands of our distant ancestors. These relics, the divine beasts, were giant machines 
piloted by warriors. We also found the Guardian, an army of mechanical soldiers who fought autonomously. This coincided with ancient legends oft repeated throughout our land. We also learned of a princess with a sacred power and her appointed knight chosen by the sword that seals the darkness. It was they who sealed Ganon away using the power of these ancient relics. One hundred years ago, there was a princess set to inherit a sacred power and a skilled knight at her side. It was clear that we must follow our ancestors' path. We selected four skilled individuals from across Hyrule and tasked them with the duty of piloting the divine beasts. With the princess as their commander, we dubbed these pilots champions, a name that would solidify their unique bond. The princess, her appointed knight, and the rest of the champions were on the brink of sealing away Ganon. But nay. Ganon was cunning, and he responded with a plan beyond our imagining. Below Hyrule Castle, seize control of the Guardians and the Divine Beasts, and turn them against us. The champions lost their lives, those residing in the Tarsum Square. The appointed knight bravely collapsed while defending the princess. And thus, the kingdom of Hyrule was devastated absolutely by Calamity Ganon. However, the princess survived to face Ganon alone. Please, you are our final hope. The fate of Hyrule rests with you. That princess was my own daughter. My dear Zelda. And the courageous knight who protected her right up to the very end. That Yo! was none other than you, Kim. Friends Daughter Teacher, thank you for the part of uh, the when your six party raid. Returned. Holy shit. And then Hello, Paper Viking. Hello, Enlightened Poo. Here you now stand, revival. Thank you for the follow, Paper Viking. The words of guidance you Hello, have that bold gamer. Your awakening off How are y'all? Zelda herself. Even now. Oh God! Thank you for the follows. Strain Ganon from within Hyrule. Nana Breads. Castle, Hello. Calls out for your help. However, my daughter's power will soon be exhausted. Oh God! Once that happens. Thank you for the Ganon follows, guys. I appreciate it. Himself, and thank you so much. Stop him from consuming our land. <laughs> yeah, I know. Oh, so you're a fan of Point Crow too. <laughs> no right to ask this of you, Link. Oh no, it's all good. But I am powerless here. <laughs> you must save her, my daughter, and do whatever it takes to annihilate. Thank you so much. Somehow, Ganon has maintained control over all four. I never would have guessed that the old man was Ganon King Rom Bosma has a viral. Yo! It would be quite reckless for you to head directly to the castle at this point. I suggest that you make your way east out to one of the villages in the wilderness. Don't you tell me that I can't Follow go to the, the castle right now. Rico village. There you will find the elder Impa. She will tell you more about the path that lies ahead. Ah uh, yes, just pointing Consult towards the mountains. Map on your Sheikah slate That's for the helpful. precise location of Kakariko village. Make your way past the twin summits of the dueling peaks. Hey, Warlek, thank you From for the there, follow. Follow the road as it proceeds north. Hmm. Go on. Here's the paraglider, just as I promised. Yay! 
Paraglider, an item that you receive from the king on the Great Plateau. It allows you to sail through the sky. Press X while you're in the air to use it. With that, you should be able to safely fly off the cliffs surrounding this area. And I think that's it. I've told you everything I can. Link, you must save Hyrule. Okay. That's cool. A soldier's bow. A bow designed for armed conflict inflicts more damage than a civilian bow, but will still burn if it touches fire. Okay, so before I do anything, adds to your to-do list. Yeah, I'll add that to my to-do list. Um, I want to try... Um, bomb jumping. I don't actually know how to do this, but I've watched videos, so I'm gonna... Okay, that didn't work. <laughs> I don't actually know how to do this, but we're gonna... We're gonna try it again. What's the shirt Link has? Uh, it's the Nintendo Switch shirt. It was a, it's a DLC item. Do I drop the bomb and then jump? We're gonna try this one more time. That's not how you do that. I play the DLC, but I never noticed the shirt. Uh, it's over next to the bomb trial. Please go away. Thank you. Where's the other skeleton? Oh, he's over there. Alright, we're gonna try this again. Alright. I'm actually gonna Google this real quick. How to bomb jump. Okay. How to bomb jump Breath of the Wild. How do I do this correctly? I've only seen videos of it done. I don't actually. Position yourself against the wall, then with a spherical remote bomb. Select a bow equipped, move the left stick down, and press jump. Link will leap away from the wall. Okay, that's not. Foot leaves the ground, immediately enter bullet time. Okay. And then drop the second bomb. Okay. Jump, drop, switch, drop, switch, line up bullet time, then explode. Okay. So, let me eat some food. Alright, so... Jump, drop, switch, drop... Line up in bullet time and then explode. Okay. I fucked that up. Need bullet time after the jump. Okay, we're gonna try this one more time before I just kind of give up on attempting this for now. I'll have to practice this. It's definitely something I need to practice before I actually. All right. timing on this is very precise it seems we'll do it on top of this building I 
say that. I need to jump forward, not just jump up. That didn't work. Alright. So we're going to give up on that for now. Who's ready for some gotcha? Because I, I sure am, I sure am ready for some gotcha. Uh, so I have every single Zelda amiibo card, and we're gonna get ourselves some equipment before we actually leave the Great Plateau, or rather, equipment that doesn't suck ass. And plus, I want some uh, materials and food as well. It's definitely the best way to get a shit ton of resources. Soldiers Claymore. Do you have a wolf too? I do. Uh, I have a, a 20 heart wolf length. Wolf link. Uh, just go ahead and drop that for the Soldiers Claymore. Alright, so that was Majora's Mask. I think this one's Skyward Sword. Bomb arrows. Nice. Purple rupees. Yay! The first money I will ever get. Oh, I heard it's hard to get full hearts on Wolf Link. On um, Wolf Link? Uh, I didn't actually get full hearts on Wolf Link. I, uh... I bought a set of amiibo cards, and the amiibo cards come with a, uh... 20 heart wolf link. Alright, this is chic. An eight fold long blade. Cool. Alright, we'll drop spear. Alright, Ganondorf. What do you got? A Knight's Claymore. Okay. I get the feeling I'm going to get nothing but two-handed weapons, which is okay. But I would really like some shields and some bows. This doesn't get me a lot of rupees. Red rupees. Blue rupees. It's shiny blue, uh, facets, fackles, I don't know how the fuck that word's pronounced, makes me weak in the knees. But why don't purple or silver rubies do that? Oh, hello, Pona. Uh, I can't take you off the Great Plateau, you will just die. Okay. Uh, we're gonna ignore Pona, because we can't take her with us. Sundrum. Razor Shroom. Ice Arrows. Nice. I think this is Toon Link. Fish. Ow. Soldier's Broadsword with durability up. Nice. Alright, next we got Zelda. What shall we drop? Uh, just go ahead and drop the Traveler's Sword. Herbs. Carrots. Alright, Zelda, give me a shield. Or you can just give me an opal. That's cool, I guess. Guardians. What are you going to give me? A guardian spear. I will actually take that. Until I get something worse. I'll just drop that, I guess. 
or something better rather. What the fuck? Really? That's what kills me? I get killed by a box landing on my head. I don't think any of the stuff I got from chess saved. Okay, no, it did. But I, I don't get the metal boxes. I, yeah, I will not get the metal boxes back. That's cool. That's some shit that would happen to me. Yeah. I wish I could say that that has never happened to me before, but that has happened. Okay. Well, we're going to hold on to that until we get a house. I'm going to have to scourge up some, some rupees because I'm not getting rid of that. Unique weapons always go in the house. I wasn't expecting that to get that so early. Okay. Okay, Zelda, please give me a shield. You gave me a bow. Thanks, Zelda. I don't need a bow. But thanks anyway. Alright, let's do this again. Toon Link. Or not Toon Link, 8 bit Link. Soldier's Broadsword. Okay, what are we dropping? I'm gonna drop the Claymore. Bit link away. I don't remember what link this is. It's not Ocarina of Time. It's not Twilight Princess either. I don't know which one it is. Oh, it's Archer Link. Never mind. I'm not gonna open. Bo I'm not gonna bother opening the Bacoblin chest because it's just gonna be a shitty Bacoblin club or something. Alright, Toon Zelda, what you gonna give me? Alright, skipping Ocarina of Time Link because he will just give me a Pona. Never mind. Got the wrong Link. You know what? Just because you said that, I'm going to open it and watch it not be a shield. It's not a shield. I was kind of hoping for, you know, like maybe a soldier shield or something. Because I usually get one when I'm doing this. I, instead, I got the trousers of time. That's cool. I'm just going to put those on. Alright, Mifa. What are you going to give me? Trash is what you're going to give me. Alright, we got ravioli. With some fruit. And he's probably going to give me arrows instead of a bow. Oh. I'll get that in just a second. Hey, that's actually a decent bow. Attack up plus nine. I will take that. He doesn't deserve to be called anything other than Ravioli because he is a shithead. I hate Rivali. His ability, however, is pretty good. I just hate Rivali. Oh. 
Hold on, I should probably climb back up because I don't want to get noticed by those bokoblins just yet. Alright. Alright, we got Daruk. Oh god, that chest is... Okay. I was going to say that chest is going to fall on Link's head. It did not fall on Link's head. Another soldier's claymore. Alright. What are we going to drop? I guess we'll drop the woodcutter's axe. And I just ruined the durability on this already. Wonderful. So I guess we're using this first. <laughs> All right, Arbosa. Give me some chicken and something else. Can I have a shield, please? Can I have a Gerudo shield? No, I'm gonna get a Gerudo. I'm gonna get a Gerudo scimitar. That's cool, I guess. I don't think I'm dropping anything for that. I'll drop the broadsword. Alright. Young Link. Bomb arrows. Alright, then we have... Uh, Link's Awakening HD Link. What are you going to give me? Bomb arrows. I did not get a single shield. Isn't that cool? All right. I have 80 arrows. All right, let's see what I walked away with. Shit ton of food. That's what I walked away with. Oh god, that's such a satisfying sound. Get fucked. That's impressive, honestly. That didn't get a single shield? Uh, yeah, I guess. I wish I got a shield, though. Fire arrows. Alright. Let us make our way towards uh, Kakariko, I guess. Or Kakariko. Or however, however you want to pronounce it. I've always pronounced it as uh, Kakariko when I was little. And then I learned that the pronunciation is actually Kakariko. I think. I don't remember. Please don't yell at me. I've never seen Amiibos used in this game, so I had no idea what you could get. You can get a lot of stuff. But it's only for uh, Zelda-related Amiibos can you get like gear and stuff. I'm gonna go get Majora's Mask, actually. I want Majora's Mask so I can safely go around without getting instantly murdered. And he's dead. Alright. I need to pick this up so, so I can discover it. Oh wow, Boko Bat. Isn't that cool? Alrighty. Let 
my sneak strike him. Sneak strike him. Put the sword through his cheeks like a credit card. Moblin Club. I feel terrible for doing that. Oh god, he hit me. Okay. Hey Gamzy, how are you? I noticed you. You're good. How can I not notice you? How are you, Gamzy? <laughs> Meh. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. I'm gonna fuck these bokoblins up. Okay, are we back? Are we back? Uh-oh. I didn't realize my uh, bit rate was so low. Uh-oh. We good? I think we're good. I think we're good. And blazing shield. Okay, I think we're good. I don't know what happened. Everything looks good so far for me? Alrighty. I'm not quite sure what happened. But the stream died. Okay, we're good. Kill the bird. Okay. I must kill one of my kind. I have killed a duck and I feel terrible. mask. There we go. Now we'll not be instantly attacked by monsters. Okay, well, I guess we're going to have to use that next. I didn't want to waste a fire arrow on it. Should we kill the stone talus that's over here? I think we're gonna. Uh, think we're gonna go fight the stone talus that's over here. Marking on the map.
Ow. I figured that would happen. And of course it started raining too. Okay. This is not how you're supposed to fight a stone talus, but it's how I'm gonna fight a stone talus. Topaz out of it. Nice. And some luminous stones. Alrighty. I'd say that was successful. Actually, probably before going to uh, Kakariko, or Kakarko, or however the fuck you want to pronounce it. We're probably going to go by Hinedo Village first. Because we have to go there anyway. <laughs> fuck that bird up. Oh, my broadsword is about to die. Hey, look, more bokoblins to bully. I feel a little bad for that. <laughs> oh, 
I feel just a little bit bad for that. Alright, what's in this chest? Hey, a claymore. Did I hit the bees? Oh god, I hit the bees. Oh god. Oh god. Uh. Get the honey! Okay. Never mind. You scared the bees away. Birds. We're gonna get this tower. No, okay. I, I first thought that those bushes were Lizalfos, and I was like, Lizalfos aren't in this area. They're not in this part of Hyrule. And then I realized they were bushes, and I was like, oh, okay. He's taken care of. Right, let's go get this shrine. And then we'll get the tower. And then we will probably end this stream here until next Wednesday, because I have to work for a week straight before I get a fucking day off. I think. Oh, cool. I like how my scheduling app signed me the fuck out. That's cool. I love it when shit doesn't work. Isn't that wonderful? Give me just a second. Wind guides you. Okay. When is my next day off? Yeah. Unfortunately, it's next Wednesday. And I don't work any early, early shifts. So, yeah, we're gonna have to go another week without another without a stream. But next week we'll be playing more uh, Breath of the Wild because I love this game. Next Wednesday and Friday, there will be breath, uh, more Breath of the Wild streams. Fuck. Okay. Fucked it up again. Oh god. <laughs> Alright, let's try this one more time. And not fuck it up. There we go. Another soldier's claymore. Okay. Goodbye, Boko Bat. 
Uh, hello? There we go. There we go. Already. Uh. Spooky skellies. Oh, hey, look, it's mushroom. All right, let's go get this tower. Don't talk to me. Uh oh. I didn't mean to, uh, light that on fire. Throwing spear. Does this do more damage? It does. We're gonna drop that. Okay, it broke anyway. Opal. Nice. You also need a plane, has to. Second. Getting more comfortable in my chair. Senseless violence. It's always fun. Whoa, hold on. That's a fairy. And I wasn't able to get the fairy. You fuck.
Come here, you piece of shit. Why are you running away? Okay, whatever. Okay. Come on, dude. Break the box. There we go. You... You broke two of the boxes. Why? Why do you do this to me? I don't know what I did to deserve that. At least got more, uh, more arrows than I started. Fuck this goat up. Fuck you, goat. I confirmed hate goats. I don't have enough stamina to climb that. I don't even know why I bother trying. Shield broke. Man, okay. That's not cool. I was not expecting that to happen. You're dead. Take this. Alrighty. The problem has been taken care of. And the problem was a couple of uh, Bacoplins. Let's 
our way up this tower. Never mind. We will not make our way up the tower because Link does not know how to use a paraglider. Like the moron he is. We are going to shoot a frog, though. What's in here? A uh, spear. Never mind. I don't want it. I knew there was a weapon in there, but I thought it was better than a soldier spear. Just fuck myself. Oh god. Oh, that's cool. Okay. Let's try this again. We have a new chunk of the map open. Oh, we can now detect shrines too. Yay! I totally forgot about that ability. Cool. Alrighty. That is going to be it for today. I've been live for a little over three hours. Uh, and I have errands I need to take care of. So until next Wednesday, I will see you guys later. Um, I will be trying to upload the part two of my Kingdom Hearts playthrough onto my YouTube channel today. And if it's not done today, it will be uploaded by tomorrow morning. Uh, so until next Wednesday, I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your afternoon and y'all have a great one. See y'all next week. Bye.